A cold case in Colorado may be closer to being solved. You may not know Mike Rust by name, but he's the man credited with bringing mountain biking to our state. He's been missing for years, and today, confirmation his remains have been found. Denver 7's Mark Stewart joins me now, and the big break came from an anonymous tip. And missing since 2009, the family of Mike Rust is stumped. They still don't know the person behind this critical tip, but they're giving a lot of credit to a new movie about their brother's life, his disappearance, and his legacy. Well, what happened? What, what went on? What, how did he die? Mike Rust's disappearance from his home in Sawatch County plagues his family. Frustration with not knowing. That's, that's the worst part, is not knowing. Russ's home was robbed, and it's believed he was following tracks left behind to find the person responsible. His brother Carl hopes the discovery of his brother's remains will answer questions and possibly lead to an arrest. You hope that there's some justice at some point with a case like this. Mike Rust was a brother and a pioneer, recognized as one of the people who made mountain biking so popular in Colorado. Here's someone who went out and did what he wanted to do. Filmmaker Nathan Ward produced the documentary, The Rider and the Wolf. You gotta just go up the mountain. Looking at Rust's contribution to the sport and his disappearance. It wasn't our goal to try and solve this when we made the film. Yet the movie may have prompted a conversation that led to Mike's remains. Maybe gave somebody an insight into Mike and his family that they hadn't realized uh, who he was and what he had done. And now a family has hope they'll get the answers they need after years of silence. You can be happy for us. This is amazing to get to this point. And during our conversation, I asked Mike's brother, did he have any enemies? Did anyone want to hurt him? Right. He said no. He believes this is completely random. He calls the identity of the tipster, they still don't know who it is, the wow. $64 million question. Oh, that poor family. Hope they get some answers. Yep. Thank you, Mark.